Okay, now that we've got our purse covered, we're going to add a little bit of detail. A lot of you guys have seen this tool, which is a really great tool to use to make it look like there's stitching on something, like clothing. Okay, so when you go to add your stitching, you don't want to push too deep in because then it could cause some cracking. Um, and you don't want that. So what I do is I just kind of follow the shape of the purse going up and I stop just like that. Then I do the same to the side. Now the hard part is you keep it symmetrical. And then up. And if it's not like so. And it's little details like this that kind of start to bring your purse to life. I'm also going to do the same on the very back. So I start and I just follow the contour of the purse and same for on the side. Okay, so all four sides have their, have their stitching. Now that we've done our stitching, we've done it on all four sides simply by running this tool up each side on all four corners to give it a more realistic textured effect over there. So this kind of purse I've decided is going to be more of a clutch. Um, so all we're going to do for that, instead of doing the flap, we're going to add a piece of fondant here and two little balls so it looks as though you can open the purse up this way. Cornstarch in your fondant. If you get cornstarch in your fondant, you can simply do your best to rub it out. But if don't get overzealous with your cornstarch because once you do get that cornstarch in there, it's just sometimes once you do that and you lay it on the cake, it just never kind of comes out. All right, so once I've rolled out my black fondant, <clears throat> I'm going to add a texture to it. This one is just circles. So what I do is I start at the one end and as I'm rolling, I'm kind of pushing downward. And look, I just gave myself a fabulous polka dotted or raised dots as a texture for this design, which is going to be really cool. It's little details like that that make a difference. <clears throat> I'm going to cut out two strips of these. Actually, the dots work out great because you can just follow the line and it doesn't seem like one is going to be a little bit thicker than the other. You just It's pretty easy to follow doing it this way. Okay. So, we have two different pieces which are going to be the top part of our our purse. Okay. Then what I like to do is I take each side using water, because water is like glue for fondant, if you didn't already know, and I rub some water on this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay, here, let me move that that way, lay one piece on top of the other like a sandwich. So we have a nice little two strip look. It should look like that. Now we don't need all of this room. So what I like to do, um, people can use rulers to be more you know, exact, but I really don't do things that way. Um, so I use my thumbs and I measure how I want it to sit and where. So wherever I feel that it works, I'm just pressing in. Then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna cut off the excess fondant. Then I remeasure and I look at it again. Let's see if that's how I like it. That's perfect. So in order to get it to sit nicely, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut out of this piece of fondant a little wedge, so it looks as though it's sitting right in between on the cake. Right in between on the cake. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I'm cutting away my excess. Now it almost looks like a retro telephone receiver. Hold it up. It's kind of 
kind of retro-y in look. And then I just do I just do a quick measure one more time to make sure that I'm accurate. Those of you who would have measured before wouldn't have to do this step. I do. Okay, how does that sit? Not bad. I'm gonna cut a little bit off one end so it doesn't seem so lopsided. And then I'm gonna place this on the top, like so. Once I place it on the top, I take a look at it to make sure it's exactly how I want it. Since it is, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to paint the bottom of the, of the clutch part, like so. Awesome. Once you put this somewhere on white fondant, that's where it has to stay. Because black and white fondant always seem to uh, leave marks. Okay. All right, so, so far so good. We have a clutch. Now, in order to open a purse like this, what do you need? You need these little, you need these, you need two little balls that are going to go on this so you can open it. And then I use water to adhere them. So there's one ball. All right, and then here's the other ball. Try to make them relatively center to your design. Okay. So this is where we're at so far. Now this purse is going to be made for somebody very special and they wanted a monogram on this purse. So instead of cutting out a piece of fondant as a plate and putting their monograms in there, I always like when I make this kind, this style of purse to have a little bit of a tag. So earlier today I used a cutter, this cutter here. I cut out what looks like it would be a tag. And I simply took, this is a number 10 circle tip, and I poked a hole through it. And that's where the ribbon would go through. On the other side, we wrote her initials on white fondant using black royal icing. And we're going to now attach this to this. So in order to do that, we want to give it somewhat of a realistic look. So I take a little bit of fondant like this, and then I rub it in my hands. What I do then is I loop it through the circle, like so. Once I do that, I pinch the ends of the piece I just rolled out together. It probably wouldn't hurt to dab it with a little bit of water, and voila.